Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Africa Sportsman Show. You'll remember the big guy next to me, Wim Rudy. Uh, we hunted here uh, just before the lockdown last year. We, uh, we tested the first uh, trigger camps that was just on the market. The Huntex before that they launched and uh, we did a hunt here. Morne, um, welcome. Uh, he's one of the co-owners here at, uh, in Sepi where we hunted last year. So I'm really looking forward to the hunt. Morning. Yeah, Stefan, thank you. It's a privilege to host you guys here on Insepe. We're situated here in northern KwaZulu-Natal, uh, between Ladysmith and Dundee. Yeah, and I hope you have a successful one today and that 764 Brenneke shoot straight today. Yeah, yeah, thank you for bringing it up a little bit about the caliber. Um, it is it is on safe. Oh, it is safe. So this is, this is actually, I told him Rudy this morning, this is the first gun I bought. Um, I was, uh, I think, 15 or 16 years old, uh, put it on my dad's name, licensing it on his name, and uh, yeah, I've, I've, I've been in love, I've been in love with this caliber my whole life, so it's a, it's a beautiful gun, it's a Tika, in, a, in the older M695 models, uh, it's a, it's a nice classic look, it's got the, it's got, still got the iron sights, um, I got this belt from a friend of mine, just a quick story, uh, Henny's friend as well, uh, the late, Dr. Moritz Kutsia, um, he gave me this this belt. I think it was on the first or the second edition of the African Outfitter magazine. Uh, this belt, this actual belt, was on the cover, and he gave it to me as a present. So um, I'm really in love with this rifle. I'm shooting a 175 grain Woodley out of it. Um, as I explained to you, I have a couple of of, of you know quick and, and flat shooting calibers. So I I actually changed this back to a more bushfelt uh, type of setup. So it's a 175 grain Woodley. It's two inches high. We just checked it on the zero, uh, on, on, on the range. When really you you happy with that zero, eh? Yeah, I'm 100 happy because we're gonna shoot on about plus minus 200 now, and uh, we're gonna walk and stalk down there in the flats to see if we can find him, and then uh, I think 200 will be 100. percent It will yeah. be a target shot. So. It, it is an absolute <coughs> one of the most beautiful parts of our country. Um, I've hunted. Uh, actually, the guys from Trigger Camp set up that hunt as well earlier this year, just before I broke my foot. We hunted not far from here. We hunted that magnificent kudu. Uh, we hunted some great zebra here last year. So it's I'm 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 really in love with this area. It's it's so nice, you know, with these acacia trees and the open flats and the rolling hills and a little bit of mountains. I mean, uh, I walked my butt off here, uh, not here, uh, at Isaac's place this week, off uh, behind a wounded buffalo. So. My leg's a little bit tender, I'm really going to have to keep an eye out, not, not let us walk too far. Eh? Not a problem, I'll support you. <laughs> I'll be your backup. When yeah. you fall, I'll just pick you up. Possibly. Thanks, Rudy. Really. Thanks. Really looking forward to it. We're going to look for Red Art to Beast. Uh, is that right? Yeah, 100%. We'll go down in the flats and see if we can find a nice um, Red Art And, and Morna, you you also looking to earn something, eh? Yeah, we'll see what the field offers and uh, when the shot come up we can try yeah to and, and, and we decided you, you're also going to use this gun we have the trigger cam on it just quickly i forgot uh, this is the new trigger cam the 2.1 uh, we've worked with it me and andre on the range a little bit it works pretty well just uh, the same way the old one worked a couple of new improvements we'll chat about it later but yeah it's a wonderful tool you can see on the shooting range as well you know if you make a mistake a little bit left or right this is the tool that shows you and then obviously to record hunting memory as well but let's stop wasting time here for the interview uh, with the interviews let's get going the vehicle here we we, we spotted um, some red art to be just, I don't know five six hundred meters from here but they bunched up together with some blue villabies as well what do you think the plan is yeah we'll just get the blue villabies out of the way yeah. and there's a couple of blaze block there between them as well let them separate and then we will go for the art to be just, because okay. then mm. we need to take our time so we can look for a nice big uh, yeah it's a bit far but it looks like there's a nice bull or two in there yeah we will come close to 200 which is not that difficult and it's a very beautiful day there's actually no wind yeah so we don't have to worry yeah, about they already know of us and there's not much cover here if they if they just decide to run around 
you know, maybe we'll have a we'll have a better opportunity. But but yeah, um, okay, let's take it's going to be a far shot here in the open. Yeah, we, we let's take our time and let approach him here from from the right to the left, and then we'll see what. Let's get a bit closer. Let's okay. get it far now. Yeah. We came out of this flat area here. This is the dam we talked about. Um, they obviously moved off. They went over the horizon here. So there's a chance that I think if we walk, I mean, it's going to be a two, three hundred meter walk. We just walk on to, on top of that ridge that they might be down in the bottom there. Am I right? Yes, 100%. Let's try to approach them from the right hand side yeah. so we can go into the farm, into the flat. Yeah. It's a little bit of blind. Right. Area, blind area, yeah, so we will go over the blind yeah. area, but we will do it quiet and we okay. walk slowly All and right. then see how close we can get. Okay, let's sum up. Okay, walk on this yeah, thing. This um, almost worked. Yeah, I agree, but let's sit down, let's wait for them yeah. and see if they move back. It's a little bit out of our range now. Yeah. So let's so sit down and wait for them and see if they move back because they normally stay in the flats. They don't go back into the mountain that easy unless we push them very hard. Yeah, I'm so already just called in uh, um, Gert in the Land Cruiser. He's going to drive around and hopefully spook them that side. So it's a, it's a long shot. I mean, but uh, uh, we've we've pushed them in this area for a couple of kilometers now. So they, they like staying here. So let's check. They, we can see some other red bears, but I mean, they don't more than a kilometer yeah, from here. I don't see a nice bull between them. I see the, the bulls is in the, in the back. Put this on, try and record it. But, but there's five or six right on top there by those by the by those pine trees. Pine trees, yeah. Uh, the bunch of pine trees. But um, it's impossible from this distance. Yeah, I don't even want to walk from here to there. Um, no, I saw that. I saw that Land Cruiser's gauge is full of diesel, so it's going to take us there. I'm <laughs> not going to walk from here. We're sitting next to this ant heap, relaxing in this warm. <laughs> it's not winter anymore. It's Still. more of more of a spring sun. It's getting quite hot. Um, so we're waiting. Kurt went around, um, he's going to try and push those harbors back this way. And we spotted, what is a what is a brain yakov's fool in English, um, really? A yellow bull badger. Well, there you go. So we saw one of the morning, I actually saw it, because you could hear the crows going crazy. And we actually saw those crows, you see, you could see them biting him. Yeah, picking on the... Yeah, <laughs> quite, quite strange. I know nothing about it, I don't know why they do it. Um, 
I don't know, but it was quite interesting to see it. I think we got it on film as well. I'm ready. Are you going to relax now for the next few minutes? Yeah, just give them a gap and see if they want to move back. Yeah. They normally stay in this area, so they'll just stay here and be calm for a while and see if they move, because we're not going to catch up with them. Yeah. So, uh, We've been spooked too many times now. Let's wait and see. I'm absolutely baffled at the moment why that shot was a miss. It, I could clearly see the, the bullet hit behind the RTBS. I felt quite steady of the sticks. It felt as if I um, if I squeezed off the trigger nicely. But yeah, that's the advantage of hunting with this thing, so we can go back and determine where the problem was. Luckily, we missed it completely. What a shit shot! But yeah, we'll see. We'll see why that happened. Rudy, that was a perfect opportunity. I mean, we did the stalk and everything. Sorry, man. Rudy, um, we drove around on the back of the vehicle for a while and we spotted a herd. They're heading into this thick area. They're heading to that mountain over there. And more than I said, if they get to that mountain, it's going to be difficult. I'm not sure if I want to climb a mountain today after yesterday's catastrophe, but um, it's very they, difficult on that mountain. But they also, they're just over this ridge here. Yeah? So I think, I mean, if we stalk, 100, 200 meters, we might be able to see them. Yes, it's definitely. gonna have to be a quick shot of the stick. Yeah, I'll, I think it's the right thing. Just remember the wind is a little bit from the left to the from right. Left to right, yeah. And, and they're walking. Just keep it in mind. They're walking a little bit away from us. Yeah. And across. So, do you think we, we must go 
put out like this or are we, we going to go straight away? Like the exit one. Yes, so um, Rudy, thank you. All right. <laughs> what started off, what started off as a perfect hunting morning, turned out into uh, a bit of a gale force wind. I, don't, I hope you can hear on the camera, but uh, yeah, this panned out pretty nicely. We got, we struggled, eh? We this whole morning. I mean, it's already after lunch. This whole morning, we thought, now, uh, no, we're gonna. This is gonna be a quick one, and then they kept that distance. They kept that distance, and. Uh, yeah, well, in the end, they made a mistake. So, uh, but they, they trotted over this hill quite nonchalant. You know, they, yeah. they thought we weren't after them anymore. We saw them, and obviously we got off the vehicle and made a short stalk, I think, two, three hundred yards. And yeah, here we got him. Beautiful bull, eh? Nice old bull, eh? Yeah, beautiful yeah, bull. Beautiful. Well, um, Rudy, what a beautiful bull we hunted. It looks like an old bull. His horns are getting smooth all over. Uh, his points is quite long. Um, so yeah, I think it's a magnificent red on the beast. Thank you so much. All right, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, oh, you have most definitely enjoyed it. It wasn't that easy, but I think no. we've done well. No, it wasn't the end easy. of the day. Yeah, so, the shot, uh, the shot was spot on. It will be interesting to look at the, the trigger cam footage. Um, the shot felt good. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, I forgot to close my bolt there at one stage, but uh, um, luckily, luckily this bull gave us a chance. We were on an, on numerous bulls today but they were just too far we were we were on but they you know they, they kept you in the 300 350 meter range and now we surprised them over this little reach here uh, you said the shot was what about 150 or something yeah 151 exactly yeah that's... but i think it was a good shot yeah no the shot went the shot went well this bull i think he went about 100 paces eh, after the shot and it looks like it, it went straight through the heart but it just shows you eh? keep yeah, tough animal yeah tough, tough animal but listen thank you so much it was a yeah. wonderful experience yeah. It was a, a wonderful hunt. I hope Moras also gets something, Morne. And um, yeah, I'm sure this evening we'll have a, a few cold ones around your fire. Yeah, here and there something else as well. <laughs> This was supposed to be a lunch break and um, I even said earlier that we're going to try and maybe get a Volibius or something for, for Morne but the guys have spoiled us with a, with a nice uh, brandy here 
So I think we're going to call it a day with this wind. Eh? There's even a fire coming from that side. I don't know if you guys want to go and look, you know, have a, have a look at it and just check. Um, but I think the wind this afternoon, let's call it a day. And uh, we'll, we'll, after this nice lunch, we'll head back to camp. Make a nice big fire there and, and enjoy the rest of the evening. What do you think about that? Yeah, I think it's a brilliant idea. <laughs> so after we left this, what we call it the plat clipper, and then we can go back to the camp and start fresh in the morning, and then we will go for more nice. And it's know, absolutely, plat. it's it's absolutely beautiful here. Yeah, we turned our seats around just for the interview, the sun and the wind. But um, you can see at the back, it's an absolutely breathtaking view. So we're gonna enjoy the rest of the afternoon, and uh, for us. Yeah, you'll, we, you'll, you'll be up tomorrow, eh? Yeah. Listen, guys, thank you for a great morning. <laughs> it was a lack hunt. I think we, uh, I think we got a beautiful red out the best. So we'll continue this adventure of us tomorrow. Tomorrow, Definitely. right? Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Thanks, thank you.